Hi, this is Addie, and welcome back to the next episode of Over a Cup of Coffee with Jamie and Addie. We've had a little break here, and we are finally back together and excited to talk about some reimagining and reinventing and looking forward and growing and all the things that we love to talk about the most. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Jamie, and welcome back to Over a Cup of Coffee with Jamie and Addie. We know we've had a bit of a break, but we're really excited that you're joining us today. And we're going to talk about reimagining yourself and reinventing yourself. And so, again, we've had a bit of a break. So, mm -hmm. welcome back, Addie. Hi, I'm welcome so happy to, to see you. I know, you too. <laughs> so, before we get started, mm -hmm. you asked our audience a month ago about if their favorite kind of coffee, or you had asked our audience on our Facebook page a question oh, yeah. about coffee. Like, how many cups of coffee does it take to get you going? Oh, That's wow. what it was. Yeah, okay. I can't believe I even remembered that. I okay. don't remember well, I anything from three seconds ago, but... <laughs> mm. So how many cups of coffee yeah. does it take to get me going? Yeah. So probably before I actually hit the office door, I've already had four cups of coffee. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> so four. <laughs> And that's just oh starting goodness. me. That's just when I'm at the office. Wow. So how many cups of coffee does it take to get you started? Um, actually, none. But oh I my do gosh. my obligatory one eight-ounce cup of coffee in the morning after my shower because I mix my protein powder oh, into it. All right. And, yeah. So no so, four. No, f definitely not. If I had four, I wouldn't even be here today. I would be, like, making holes in people's ceilings. Oh, my gosh. Well, I... <laughs> And wow. truth be told, I don't know if I actually finish <clears throat> mm -hmm. four, but I do pretty good. Mm -hmm. Then I get to the office and I brew another now, one. And, are and then they I brew the, another one. Like little cups of coffee? No, or like are you a, doing the big ones? Like a mug. But yeah. then, you know, I put a little half and half, right. you know, or cream in it. And mm -hmm. then then if it gets cold, I dump it and, and go another. Over. So let's say really it's more like three because yeah. every cup doesn't get completely fully, finished. Fully free. But I start yeah. first thing in the morning at like 530 mm -hmm. and then... So anyway, yeah. but it was a good question. It was, so. yeah, <laughs> it was a fun one. Yeah, and then I, because we were gone so long, I brought my uh, Better Late Than Ugly oh, mug. Lovely. So. <laughs> well, it is, it is Better Late Than Ugly. I brought my San Francisco mug. I, I, I love, love it. Because it's I so I love cheap. it, yes. Yeah. So I just got back from a women's summit mm -hmm. in Wetumpka, Alabama. I want yeah, to talk with a little bit of favorite that. friend, Shelly Whitfield. Yes. Yeah. But I thought I would catch up on what's going on with you because mm -hmm. you just had a fun experience. You got to yeah. ride around with a local mm -hmm. marketing guy named Ken Collins. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and I, we've had Ken yeah. on the show and we've been on Ken's right. show with He's a with podcaster. Dave. Uh -huh. And yeah, so he invited me on um, to talk about just all the different things that I do and, mm -hmm. and some of the things that we have coming up. And um, it was a really fast hour. And for anybody that doesn't know with Dave, um, his his show, you he picks you up in his truck mm -hmm. and then he takes you through the drive through of a coffee shop and you order a coffee and you just have a conversation the whole time like, right. like nothing. And there's cameras all over the truck on you and a microphone. Right. And um, but it doesn't it does. It's not intimidating. It doesn't yeah, feel like. Yeah, it's and then, kind of modeled on comedians and cars with coffee. So right. that's kind of the format where he picks you mm -hmm. up and you drive around and you just have a conversation. Yeah. But, yeah. And for again our listening audience we're in the Farmington New Mexico mm -hmm. we're in the four corners of the United States mm -hmm. and Farmington is kind of in the northwest corner of the state right just um, about just half that. an hour from the state line into right. Colorado mm -hmm. and so Ken does this great ride-along show and you were his guest mm -hmm. and so what kind of things yeah. did you talk about yeah so um, we talked about my involvement with Four Corners Economic Development and and how I um, am on a committee for for that group mm -hmm. and some of the things that we've got going on there we talked about um, you and I of course mm -hmm. and, and the podcast and and what was really funny is we were driving downtown right as we were talking about you and you just crossed the street right oh, in front of right. us. Remember, and you guys yelled, yelled out the window. Yelled out the window at you. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So welcome to small town America oh, okay. where you well, can see your best friend on the corner. <laughs> but you know what? I just got back from Wetumpka and mm -hmm. that is 
about 8,000 people. And mm-hmm. I love small town America. Mm-hmm. I've lived yeah. in some cities. I lived in Denver for mm-hmm. 10 years. I love to go travel to Chicago. Yeah. I love visiting cities. I like visiting cities too. There's yeah. a lot to be said for big cities. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of culture and there's mm-hmm. a lot of great restaurants and people and energy. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and a diverse collective of Yes, things. a lot of diversity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they each city kind of has its own flavor. I mean, mm-hmm. you just got from, back San from San Francisco. Francisco. I love it and there so much. We yeah. love shit. You know, my husband mm-hmm. and I love Chicago. Mm-hmm. And, but it is so nice to come back into a small community where well, you're walking down the street, you. somebody yells your name, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, hey. Yes, like and you Norm were like the third <laughs> people downtown that had yelled my name really? that day. I mean, that was, you, you everyone was out like and about. like a superstar. <laughs> I, did, I, well, no, I didn't, but <laughs> a lot of people out and about that day. Mm-hmm. So uh, Wetumpka, as I mentioned, is about 8,000, mm-hmm. and there's some surrounding communities around it, but um, it's a, it's about an hour and 20 minutes from Birmingham, Alabama, mm-hmm. And it's on the Cusco River, and so they have a really a meteor crater that's a like five mile wide meteor crater. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're Holy kind of famous cow. for that too. Okay. So they always talk about the meteor dust in the air, kind uh, of like fairy dust. That's what right. makes their town so special. Oh, okay. And we have had Shelley Whitfield, who's their Chamber of Commerce director, on our podcast mm-hmm. twice. Mm-hmm. So she had invited me to come and speak at their women's summit, which was last week, um, and I said yes, and I traveled there and and you went by yourself great. too huh? I did your go husband didn't myself. go with you no not I, this time. I remember originally when you were planning this mm-hmm. trip that he was going to be going and that's right life changed for you dramatically over yes, the summer it and, did and so yeah so, so how was traveling on your own did you make it through I your did airports make it through. okay so <laughs> I you know we've been married a long time 34 yeah. years and yeah. he just handles all the travel you know right. I mentioned going to Chicago and stuff like mm-hmm. that so he just handles the travel the flights the mm-hmm. rental cars all of it Mm-hmm. And so when it came time to book our travel and he realized he couldn't go, and mm-hmm. I was like, well, I'm still going. And, yeah, you, know, you had to. <laughs> so he, we booked it from uh, Albuquerque to Birmingham. So it was Albuquerque, Dallas, Dallas, Birmingham. And then when I got to Birmingham, I had to rent a car. And then I had to drive from Birmingham to Wetumpka. And I will mm-hmm. say thank goodness for GPS and Google oh Maps and gosh, the guy yes. talking to you the entire way, uh-huh. telling you what to do. Because I'm not a map reader, so I all. love maps. <laughs> so I made it there just fine. All the flights were good. Uh-huh. Everything was great. I mean, good. I got into Birmingham, got my rental car, mm-hmm. and just, you know, drove into so, Wetumpka. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is great. Mm-hmm. So, but I was a little nervous about it leading yeah. up to it because yeah. I haven't traveled that much in kind of all those different legs of a journey and renting a car by myself in a long time. Right. But I was like, look, I'm speaking at a women's summit. If I can't something do big. this, if yeah. I can't travel there, I have no business speaking <laughs> at the women's summit. I mean, talking about confidence and stuff. I mean, if I can't travel. So anyway, I get there and we're, I'm the keynote, so I'm the mm-hmm. first speaker, so, mm-hmm. which was great because I got yeah. my presentation done first. Yeah. And well, and you don't have to like, for me, I always like start second guessing myself yes, if I'm not exactly. the first one up because exactly. then I'm like, oh my gosh, they said this and they said that. Or and they I'm have a style. That or that. Yeah. And I'm like. I don't, I don't look that way or sound that way or present myself that way. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm so yeah. glad because otherwise I would have been watching the other ones and mm-hmm. gone, oh, maybe mm-hmm. I should move around a little bit more. But I, it was mm-hmm. first and I had yeah. done mine and I practiced Good. on you. Yes, so you know I know. And it was amazing. Well, thank it you. Was it was amazing. Kind. Absolutely. But the last speaker of the day, so I was first, and the one who wrapped it up is a woman who came from Colorado. Mm. And was she all the, the way from Colorado. She's an author, and okay. she is blind. She has been blind yeah. from birth. How so she amazing. traveled. She flew from somewhere, I think, I can't remember where in Colorado, but uh-huh. she traveled from Colorado with her seeing eye dog by herself wow. to uh, Montgomery, and she happened to have a friend that she's known for years who lives in Montgomery who uh, picked her up and then drove her to Wetumpka. But I was like, oh my goodness, this no woman, reason to be this afraid author, of traveling alone. Yeah. This <laughs> blind woman and her seen eye dog traveled all the way and I can't even imagine how stressful that would be. So yeah. then I sort of was like, come on. You yeah, know. we can do anything. Adjust your crown and handle it. So mm-hmm. that is the t-shirt I wore the day I flew in because I have this t-shirt I bought mm-hmm. during 2020. Mm-hmm. And it's exactly what it says. It's a black T-shirt, and it has it says adjust your crown and handle it. And during my lowest point in 2020, mm-hmm. when the chamber had to close, doors were down, being closed. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we Life was were dra- changing yeah, mm-hmm. drama- quickly and right. dramatically. Right. So mm-hmm. we got the order from the governor of New Mexico that 
she did a press conference on a Wednesday and basically everything that was non-essential as far as like hospitals and housing yeah right. was going to be shut mm-hmm. down mm-hmm. so the Farmington Chamber was on that list we weren't really essential right and so I had talked to my two staff people and said you know we're gonna have to figure out how to do this mm-hmm. remotely and we're mm-hmm. gonna have to figure it out by the end of today because I have yeah. a feeling that we're not coming back in and you were pretty fresh into this role I was as well a year in. it was yeah and yeah. So I, we did it. We all figured out how we could work remotely, mm-hmm. and we closed down. Mm-hmm. And I was in this slump because I just I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, right. how are we going to run the chamber remotely? Because we mm-hmm. had so many events. So many things yeah. coming up. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, everything was an event. A coffee, mm-hmm. a business mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. hours, you know, an event, a committee meeting, on and on. Yeah. And this was sort of the beginnings of Zoom, too, where mm-hmm. we were sort of using it, but not like we do now. Right. Not like mm-hmm. we're so used yeah. to off-site meetings and stuff now that it's second nature. But mm-hmm. then it was still pretty new. Right. So I was laying down in my basement for, I've told you this story, mm-hmm. I mean for days, and I was really depressed because I didn't yeah. know what I was going to do. Yeah. And I just watched, I was binge watching episodes of The Crown. <laughs> <laughs> just one episode after another episode, just laying there, just feeling sorry for myself. Like, what are we going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to run the chamber. I just thought. <laughs> and then I was like, all right. I was watching the movie, you know, this, mm-hmm. so, and mm-hmm. I was like, the queen, what would Queen Elizabeth do? The queen would not be laying around in her basement no. moping, and she's kind of famous for the saying, never never complain, never explain, you right. know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, what would the queen do? Mm-hmm. Love her, or, or maybe you don't agree with her, you know, she's a leader, or mm-hmm. was a leader. Right. She was a leader mm-hmm. of her country. She's mm-hmm. been on the throne a long time. She mm-hmm. has been through a number of different periods in history. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you just need to be... This is you need to adjust your crown and you yeah. need to handle it and you need straighten to come, that spine straighten up. it up and you're gonna come out of the basement and you need to yeah. march up those stairs and you need to figure this out and that's yeah. exactly what I did I yeah. walked up the stairs and said I'm gonna figure this out mm-hmm. so ironically I had worn that shirt to Wetumpka just to give myself some confidence yeah like, well that's I, there's certain things that I wear when I travel yeah for for that peace of mind and right. that confidence and the comfort and mm-hmm. things like that and especially going to go do something like what you were going right. to do it, it made sense it made well, sense and I was to like you can handle the things this. you did yeah you're a leader mm-hmm. you can handle it you do things in your community mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. ironically during the summit she passed away I know. so yeah. I had just finished speaking about 10 minutes when one of the women at my table leaned over and said the queen has died mm-hmm. and I immediately texted my mother-in-law because she's British oh, so yeah. my mother-in-law lived in England until she married my father-in-law mm-hmm. in the early 1960s Mm -hmm. But she had always been, that was her childhood up until her, you know, being a young mom Mm -hmm. and then moving from England over to the United States. So she actually remembers being taught in school, having to relearn the words to God save the king to God save the queen. Oh, wow. So now that will be switched back to God save the king. So she remembers learning that in school when the king died and the queen took over. over. Uh Uh So I texted my mother-in-law immediately Uh because I knew she'd be very upset. And she was. And Mm -hmm. so, Mm -hmm. um, but that just ironically happened right in the middle of the women's summit. And so I'm certainly not implying I'm anything Mm -hmm. like... Uh, anything uh, royal it's just that idea of <laughs> well the, it, and it's handling more like your a, business and handling handle yourself mm-hmm. and and there's there's you know multiple ways to move forward or not move forward right. and and something that you know i think especially as little girls growing up we're we're always pushed to have that queenly reign carry yes. carry ourselves stronger mm-hmm. yes. with every step mm-hmm. and always pick up our pieces mm-hmm. and always move forward right and and i think you know as as time passes and you know especially the older that i get i'm i'm seeing where we're i don't think that culturally we're pushing it as much as we did as 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 our generations got pushed with right. that but the girls are just coming up that way naturally because right. so much confidence of, of the confidence and the confidence of the women around them that are now raising them and, and the opportunities and the opportunities that they have. right 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 yeah and and I just I just think it's I have goosebumps thinking about like I remembered thinking oh my gosh Darren's not going to be with her and is she going to are you going to ever gonna, see her again <laughs> if you know me I have a lot of directional own. issues <laughs> well so and that's what my my so. friend that traveled with me to San Francisco the first thing she told my son when we got back to town she says. 
I truly don't know how she gets around mm-hmm. because we were lost all the time. And yeah. I said, I always come home, though. <laughs> yeah, I get I know there. where home is. <laughs> I did say goodbye to everybody as if yeah. I would never see them again in case I did get lost and spent the rest of my life flying around airports because I couldn't figure out how to get That's my connecting so flight. Because, I mean, I am I do have a lot of issues with directions and stuff. if I can't. If you I, can't. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> so their, um, their Women's Summit theme was mm-hmm. reimagined. Mm-hmm. And I have a little, a few things for you from the summit oh, that I'm going to give to you after the podcast. Okay. But so our Women's Summit is theme is reinvent yourself. Mm-hmm. And so they're very, I use them very interchangeably because I think they're very similar. Oh, yeah. But you just mentioned something about girls growing up the way, you know, we were raised and now the girls that are growing up today and then mm-hmm. the women of the future. My granddaughter, who's two. Right. It'll be mm-hmm. interesting to see her growing up and how right. different that is from my growing up and how different mm-hmm. that was from my mother's growing up and mm-hmm. what we were, we were taught. So yeah. I um, – really crafted my presentation around reimagining your life not or the possibilities not from a place of regret right but a place of possibility and hope mm-hmm. and what can be in your life mm-hmm. because i talked a lot about things that life hands you that are the lemons for sure mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. bad things that happen the hard, the hard moments mm-hmm. and we've all had them mm-hmm. and we'll have many more yeah. i know so we've all had them so life there are the lemons in life. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much that you ignore your past and right. the things that the lemons or the things that make you who you are. Mm-hmm. Because whether you come from an idyllic childhood or one that was troubled and dysfunctional or mm-hmm. one that was full of traumatic circumstances, stress, and but it's not that you forget all of that because right. that does make you who you are. Yeah. But look towards the future. Don't mm-hmm. Take the lessons from the past and things Mm -hmm. that you have changed from that and those things have made you stronger. And then look towards possibility and future and what can be possible Mm -hmm. as you reimagine or reinvent. Because I was discussing this with my daughter-in-law and some of this is also taking that inventory of your life and going, you know what? My life's great. It's pretty dang good. I don't need to be constantly lurking at it or working to change or be something there's a great thing about saying I'm really proud of who I am Mm -hmm. and what I'm doing yeah well and I don't I I think especially personally with all the changes that I've made in my life just in, in a very short window of time I I will run really fast to the next thing instead of stopping and enjoying where I'm at Mm -hmm. and I'm really starting to recognize that now because I am in a place of such comfort right and and I was telling you before we even started like I I have this confidence that's floating around that all of a sudden showed itself Mm -hmm. when I was with Ken the other day um, because I didn't even bother running and looking in the mirror to make sure okay I know I'm gonna be filmed and 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 all those things I put it together and I just go and and how it ends is how it ends whatever and I'm talking about my outside appearance it's what's on the inside so Mm -hmm. much more that matters on on such a grander scheme especially for me right I I I don't I don't want to be that person that has to go run to the mirror every time to make sure I'm the person they're wanting me to be right I'm who I am who you are and and you love who you are and you're just exuding that yeah and so and I my, see that more in you, too. Well, so I think much so. More. And I think mm-hmm. because 2019 and 2020 and 2021 were so nuts that yeah. it has felt really good to get to the place where I am now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I talked a lot in my presentation about my grandmother and how she reimagined and reinvented her life her so many times. Her story is so amazing. It is. And mm-hmm. I feel so blessed, I think, to realize I had her in my life and I've never I always knew she was an amazing woman but the Mm -hmm. older I get Mm -hmm. I think even the more I realize it yeah and so I think looking towards um, you can always learn something new Mm -hmm. and you I had a quote in my presentation and I'm not going to get it exactly right in fact I wish I had my phone with me because then I would read it from there but basically the first line was you can rise up from anything Mm -hmm. and then you are not stuck you can recreate yourself Mm -hmm. you can learn new things you can move forward into new possibilities and so it's it's like there's so many great things that are waiting for us that we don't even know about yet. Mm-hmm. And so we can do some work now to be ready for those, to yep. accept those into our lives. And I think mm-hmm. you are a perfect example of that. Yeah, that's that's done. always, you know, my one of the, the things that I always try and say when I'm 
sharing pieces of, of my recovery or pieces of my growth is I'm, I'm not competing with anybody mm -hmm. but who I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's, it's right. all about who I was yesterday, who I'm showing up today as. I'm, I'm better than yesterday always. Mm -hmm. Last year, I'm, you know, even, you know, Greg and I were talking before you got here about what a whirlwind year we've had since starting the podcast in all of our lives and how different each one of us is and all the experiences we've had in just this small window of time mm -hmm. from starting this podcast. Right. And and it's like those are the kinds of things that I always coming into the fall, I start taking an inventory of where I've been over the last year and and where the people in my life are still fitting and, and you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's coming the ones that don't fit anymore. Right. right. <laughs> changes and it does and you know and and again too I, I put a post up on on Facebook today from an article that I read um about the drinking culture in corporate America mm -hmm. and and it's something that I've I've lived in both worlds on now mm -hmm. and you know and I it really made me stop and look at again how am I showing up for the people in my life and where am I forcing myself to still fit in some circles that maybe I don't actually fit in anymore and it's nobody's fault right at all it's just that we've grown in different directions right and maybe that is just naturally where I don't belong anymore mm -hmm. and and so you know so and I and I wonder you know do, do other people stop and take that inventory I, I know some some of the people that run in the recovery circles definitely do but but are we all going to take a pause and take an inventory mm -hmm. and see, because sometimes moving yourself out of certain situations opens up right. this other piece for right. the re reinvention and reimagining and, and doing something totally different or getting comfortable again right where you are. Right where you are. So mm -hmm. reinvention, reimagining, I thought a lot about all of this as I prepared for my mm -hmm. presentation and, and our Women's Summit is coming up now yeah. in a month. Mm -hmm. And so we've got our presenters are working on their uh, presentations mm -hmm. and we've got a lot of great people coming in to speak, mm -hmm. a lot of students attending. Yeah. So that event is the registration for that closes the end of this month. Mm -hmm. And after that, you can't register. So yep. if you are in Farmington <laughs> or the Four Corners area, which includes mm -hmm. Utah and Colorado and Arizona, mm -hmm. you need to go on to the Chamber website or get in touch with us somehow through the podcast or Facebook if you're interested in attending. And we do have quite a few people coming from Colorado and from some outlying areas and students. Mm -hmm. So I highly encourage you to take this opportunity because the yeah. speakers are going to be great. Our this keynote is, is Shelly awesome. Whitfield from Wetumpka, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is coming uh, the hop, skip, and a jump that I just did, but in reverse, <laughs> to come here. And she's our keynote, and she's going to be talking about that whole idea of reinvention through your life. We do it naturally mm -hmm. as we get older. Right. We are a student and a, and a child, and then we move out of school and being a student into being either a young adult or a parent or a spouse, and mm -hmm. then into maybe a career. I mean, mm -hmm. we do it naturally as life progresses. Right. We, we mm -hmm. have to, or yeah. else we just we be stagnant. We have to, or, right, yeah, or we, you know, we do see the struggle mm -hmm. that a lot of people do go through when they're fighting those changes. Those changes. And you, you become miserable mm -hmm. and, and depressed and right. stuck in your basement. Right, stuck <laughs> in my basement. <laughs> Binging the Which crown. Is, your basement is a great for place like, to be in, but. Yeah. <laughs> Four days of watching the crown, and it, it was time to come out of the basement. Yeah. So anyway, the, our Women's Summit has, a, that she's our keynote, and mm -hmm. then that's just the beginning of the lineup. Oh, gosh, and I know we've talked about day. everybody coming. Mm -hmm. So the, the registration is wrapping up soon. But I was also very inspired by the women I met at the Women's Summit in Wetumpka. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm saying that because traveling by myself was definitely out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I stressed out about it, like the two weeks building up to it. I wasn't yeah. sleeping. I was like, well, I just, you know, I, I was just kind of, it was worrying me because mm -hmm. it was something I hadn't done in a long time. Right. And travel has become a little more difficult. It's, as, it's very difficult. Yeah, flights are canceled uh, right. and different mm -hmm. things. And mm -hmm. so I had a lot of contingency plans about mm -hmm. what I would do mm -hmm. if this happened or if that happened. A ninja, a donkey, a helicopter, a taxi, <laughs> and, <laughs> and a rental car. <laughs> there you so, go. Somewhere in there, a ninja does come and get us out of Farmington. <laughs> yes. So I did it. And where was I going with this thought? Sorry. Uh, it's okay. I think I was just talking about, oh, doing something maybe you wouldn't do. So right. you've never attended a professional 
you know, mm -hmm. development opportunity, a seminar. You've never been to something like this. Try it it's out. Perfect I mean, opportunity. Come to it. Yeah. We'll make sure that you feel connected and that you are mm -hmm. sitting at a table where you feel like you're going to have great connection and conversation and meet mm -hmm. some new people. So yeah. try it out mm -hmm. and take advantage of all these opportunities that come your way because mm -hmm. I guarantee you, whether it is in Farmington, New Mexico, or Wetumpka, Alabama, or wherever it is in the United States, if you can get out and do these things, you will come away feeling enriched. Yeah. It'll get your wheels turning on things mm -hmm. and you will come away, you know, with a really positive experience mm -hmm. because you're meeting new people and learning about somebody Same else's difference. story. Yeah, the differences and, and, mm -hmm. and all of those other things that are available to us. Right. Um, I, the, and this is, some, I did something out of my comfort zone, which is something that I, it's something that I used to do when my son was little, um, but I decorated my yard this weekend for fall. Oh, fun. And, yeah, and I sent you a couple pictures, and because it's still in the works, but. When did you send me the um, pictures? I, I don't know, I think maybe yesterday sometime oh. but it was a crazy day yesterday so um oh, look sorry it's okay no but it's still a work in progress but I just love it Aww. I love it I pull you know up in front of my house and turn into my driveway and I'm like oh look how cute it is and Aww. I just Makes love you feel it good. yeah and it's like your house giving you a warm hug it is Hello. yeah and it's like hi you're home I'm so excited mm -hmm. to see you but I hadn't done it since my son was like I said since he was little when I used to decorate seasonally for him mm -hmm. and it just feels so good to kind of get back to a piece of me that I thought was somebody else. Right. And it, it turns out that I'm kind of creative there when I let myself do it. But oh, I love that. <laughs> you know? and, 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 that's, I, and I bring that up just because it's so easy for us to pigeonhole our way through life and, and miss these things that maybe we did like mm -hmm. and forgot about them. And, and, you oh, know, that and, they were and, important to yeah, us. or yeah, that they were important. And, and just because life changes, well, it's, 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 a, it's a grown up decoration now. It's not a toddler decoration now. Right, right. <laughs> it's just part of. Yeah. Although my son did say, um, oh my gosh, you've reached old lady status. Oh goodness. <laughs> but boy, I Tell swear. Him. Just because you turned 26 doesn't make me old. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> so but when I was in Wetumpka, I posted a picture of what I was going to wear. Oh, yeah. You texted me that yeah. morning. What are you mm -hmm. going to wear? Yes. And mm -hmm. so I was taking photos of what I was going to wear and sending yeah. them back to you, but it made mm -hmm. me think. So for our Facebook audience, they can see I'm wearing this pin that I, I love have. it's this so butterfly pretty. brooch uh, for our podcast listening audience it's just a really pretty uh, colorful butterfly pin and I had been using this idea of the caterpillar changing into the butterfly throughout my presentation mm -hmm. and the caterpillar it's a thing that's gone around on Facebook and Instagram it's a, a little cartoon and the caterpillar is sitting there with the butterfly and they're like having coffee right and the caterpillar says you've to the changed. butterfly you've changed and the butterfly says we are supposed to yeah. and i used that because mm -hmm. life makes us change mm -hmm. the caterpillar probably didn't necessarily want to change he was mm -hmm. very happy or she was very happy in their life mm -hmm. they didn't know that there was anything better beyond that they were right. very happy being their 18 the legs got them all over the world eating all day long and <laughs> hanging out on a leaf and yeah. they so the caterpillar didn't want the change and then mm -hmm. life happened to the caterpillar mm -hmm. and forced the change and turned the caterpillar into this beautiful butterfly which we know that the butterfly or the caterpillar has to change or else the caterpillar would die mm -hmm. so the turning into the butterfly is the next step the beautiful right. things that life has in store for the caterpillar that it's sort of resisting mm -hmm. and about a week before I went to go to Wetumpka I was out shopping at little consignment stores which is my favorite thing yes. to do thrift and consignment <laughs> Shelly Whitfield I'm th thinking about you because we went thrifting in Wetumpka and we had Did the best you? time oh, how fun. and so so this butterfly, I found this pin about a week before I oh, left, and I thought was that meant is to be. perfect because it's, yeah. it's just making me think about everything that I'm going to talk about. So I mm -hmm. bought it. I wore it t during my presentation. So I wore it today for the podcast mm -hmm. because I think that life does happen, and sometimes it's stuff we didn't want sort of like what happens with Caterpillar. Right. But if we will be open and we will be honest and we'll mm -hmm. keep learning and searching and realizing we can rise up from anything mm -hmm. and we are not stuck. The chrysalis stage yes. is really a beautiful stage yes. of change. Mm -hmm. And if we can get comfortable and warm and cozy in that gooey little encapsulated right. 
piece, right. we are going to come out. And can, I was thinking while you're talking about that and, and the caterpillar turning into the butterfly and, you know, the, I said this 18 legs. The view from the ground is so different than the view from above. That's right. And so when they come out as the butterfly and get to see, holy cow, look at all the other things that I get to see oh, now. And world. Yeah. Yeah. And that's also the the logo for our Women's mm -hmm. Summit with reinvention. We had a local artist named Christina draw our logo and it's a woman standing there and she's got butterfly wings. And that's mm -hmm. what that was supposed to sort of represent as yeah. we reinvent or reimagine ourselves throughout our lives, our mm -hmm. personal, our professional, our community. Mm -hmm. How, what transformations are taking place. Yeah. Some of them we, again, maybe sort of forced well, upon us. Right. And, yep. mm -hmm. But there's still beautiful possibilities out there. So mm -hmm. that's why I was wearing this pin mm -hmm. today because I wanted to yeah. just explain kind of what our Women's Summit was, how it tied into what I spoke about in Wetumpka, mm -hmm. and just encourage people to, even if they're in really, the life is handing them some really bad stuff right now, do some work right now, prepare for what could be coming. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, yeah. that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I love it. Can you tell I'm in a chatty mood? <laughs> I know. It's great. <laughs> Can you tell I've had five it's cups of coffee? I know. I'm like, are you on? Let's see if you start with a four by today. Now this afternoon, oh. it's like maybe nine. <laughs> yeah, we're well past the morning. So <laughs> I did have two cups today. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so. way ahead of you. So. <laughs> but thank you all for tuning mm -hmm. in. And for our new listeners from Wetumpka, we're so glad to have you following our podcast on our Facebook page. And we will see you again soon on Over a Cup of Coffee.